I am all for movie violence, but I want it to be done one of two ways, either comically or extremely realistically. Hmm. And I think that guns would not be nearly as romanticized as they are in America if when you saw someone get shot in the head, you saw the back of their skull open up, you know, and I think that would solve problems because you don't want to do that to someone. And if you do, see a doctor. Yeah. They might be able to hook you up with a cadaver. <laughs> hey, I got some postcards here. One of these is from Sean, who says, Dear Matt, Craig, and Tona, I've traveled so rarely of late, I'm obliged to send you bland campus postcards. <laughs> Let's there see how go. bland this is. They, they've got a, they've got flowering trees. They've got this little waterfall fountain. It looks beautiful. And this is from Sam. It's a big old fancy library. Hi, basement crew. This is the first of seven postcards I found in my attic. So expect more over the coming months, each with a scenic request. To start a movie my husband loved and I hated, The Lobster. We talked about that on this show. Keep up the great work. Love you guys, Sam. About The Lobster? You're both right. Yeah. It's that movie. You're both going to be right. And I got a little envelope here from Aaron and Hell's Kitchen. I'm going to open that up. I think I'm good doing this. Not destroying anything. Ooh, fancy envelopes. One for Craig mm. and one for Matt. With the lockdown and a monthly movie-centric Zoom call with Tim, Laurie, T.A., and Sean. These are all uh, devotees of Welcome to the Basement. I've had a bummer year with my try to see 100 movies in a year project. I topped out last year at 168. Oh, banner, banner year. Banner year. Ba not a bummer year, a banner year. Uh, these are his top five from last year. Ace in the Hole, 1951. A Colt... Is My Passport, mm. Night in the City, I know that one, Safety Last, that's Harold Lloyd, and The Bad Sleep Well, 1960. Mm. Oh, that's cool. That's a nice collection right there. And he's got, do you remember Wacky stickers from childhood? It was like crazy products and they would make funny jokes about them. These look really old. Got dampers and graft cheese. <laughs> they're like funny products. Yeah. Dampers. They're not pampers, they're dampers. Some postcards. Five from America's Dairyland. And he wants to know if we've been to these places. Cleopatra's Needle by Camp Douglas, Wisconsin. Been near here. Castle Rock is by there. There's another one of these weird rock formations. Residence of Al Ringling, Baraboo. I've driven past the place. Friendship Rock in Friendship, Wisconsin. I've never been to Friendship. I don't know Friendship. Tell me about it. Abbotsford? What the hell's in Abbotsford? And then we have Turner Hall in Monroe, Wisconsin. Hey, I think we I think we ate food here. We did? Yeah, after shooting um, the court. Okay. Thank you, Aaron. When you go to our website, welcome to the basement show .com, you can live a true life. When you go to our website, welcome to the basement show .com, you can see all of our episodes, and there are also PayPal donation buttons that you can click on to support our show with a one time or rolling monthly donation. What a generous thing that is to do. Here are some of our rolling monthly donors. Corey, Robert, Amy, John, Tiffany, Brandon, the Factory Boys. Boys of the Factory, those. Malcolm, Charles, William, Vance, Carson, Sarah, Victor, Jared, Daniel, Krista, Maurizio, James, Paul, Michael, Alexander, David, Dan, and Einar. More donors later in the show. Let's open a couple packages. Oh, okay. Alexander Hawk. We haven't heard from him in a while. Oh, Joshua Byer of South Bend, Indiana. Andover, Massachusetts. Where they make money and over fist. <laughs> South Bend, actually in northern Indiana. I remember this movie from my childhood. I watched it a lot. I get the feeling it's actually pretty bad. It's called In God We Trust, starring Mr. Marty Feldman. I saw that movie. I don't remember anything. Is Richard Pryor in it? Richard Pryor and Andy Kaufman are both. Wow! This is the Dolph Lundgren vehicle, Hard Night Falling. And the Three Stooges, Stooges on the Run. Oh! We have uh, some Masters of Terror. Are we, are we talking about Hitchcock? No, we're talking about whoever made the prophecy. Sorry, Christopher Walken. The Crow uh, sequel that we have here. The Nameless, which actually does look pretty creepy. And Ritual. It's now time for viewer questions. Mariah Ince writes, 
Do you think new movies are less imaginative or original than older films? I think new movies are more imaginative and less original than older films. But that doesn't say much because when you're more imaginative, you tend to be more original. I think that production companies are less imaginative, original, and creative. And screenwriters. It's just killing me. But, but there are a, a, a number of auteurs who kind of steer their own ship and crew their own boat who are really making extraordinary things. And I also think that the, mo the thing that most film fans yearn for from older films is that kind of bygone quality and charm that that is quality and charm can't help but disappear over the course of time but i think that comes back here and there i found nightmare alley to be it really reminded me of older films mm -hmm. and it, it gave me that kind of juice of like it's a very classic story yes Pause. tona said pause and she put stank on it yeah. Thanks for recognizing. Real recognize real. <laughs> Ingrid Olofsdata Rongen. Do you have any advice for how to review movies and think about them while watching? Because sometimes I just want to be entertained for a couple hours, but I also love talking about films with my friends, and a lot of the times I don't know what to focus on. Enjoy them first. That is what they're there for. Even if it's a highly intellectual movie, if it's last year in Marion Bad, if it's Breathless, you know, stuff that's way out there, just go in to enjoy them. Process them later, because you can remember the plot, you can remember the emotions you feel. Look back and think about, why did I feel this way about this movie after you're done watching it? The best... <clears throat> lesson I learned from improv training is that listening is more important than talking. When you talk, you're using up a part of your brain that takes you out of what you're experiencing. But when you listen, you don't get that. And I think it's the same with watching movies. When you're thinking about it actively while you're watching it, you're actually taking less of it in. But if you turn that off and just receive... You'll have absorbed more of it, and then when it's time to think about it after it's done, it'll just all fall into place. I really found that to be the case with some very inscrutable movies, and I'm looking at you, Charlie Kaufman. A week has passed since bandits jumped a mail train coming out of the High Sierra Tunnel. Cody, Jared, and his gang robbed a mail train. They could not buy a thrill. They were up all night <laughs> leaning on the windowsill. Sorry, Cody. I made the rounds for a month. Drifting, kind of. Nosferatu? Who let you in? <laughs> I'll go out the back way if you don't mind. Yeah, you're suitably ghoulish to take a discreet way out of my <laughs> place of work. Expect a graph of some dirt from the tunnel. Expect a graph of dust deposits taken from the dead man's clothes. I'm rich in stetsographs. <laughs> Panties. <laughs> Cause we decided to go to a movie instead. What picture? Task Force. Exciting. Cody like it? How could he? Cody thought it was derivative. <laughs> but I hear you got to have witnesses to make anything stand up in court. Actually, if you have a judge, everyone stands up in court. Yeah. It's really easy. They yeah, just the, walk in. The bailiff says... He tells you to yeah. stand up. Yeah. It's, who checks confessions in Springfield? Probably Chief Quimby. Bo Creel. He knows Hank Fallon, the cop. He'll be able to identify him no problem. Bo Creel would know me in the dark. Because we've made love many times. <laughs> he knows every sweet inch of my body. Maybe that envelope will tell us something. Take your order that U.S. mail. I'm a U.S. citizen, ain't I? Not lately. <laughs> Jinx, buy me a pruno. I'm going to shoot his mouth though up again. <laughs> Ma visits. He'll be out soon. Back on top of the world. The original script was written by a flat earther, and the line was, he'll be back in the middle of the world. Yes. Sorry that took so long. It, they were screws. <laughs> Sable coats. Jewels just dripping from my fingers. Jewels only drip from your fingers in a Salvador Dali painting. Yes. Well, you look at this. After all these years, bowl of popcorn. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Tona. Thanks, Tona. 
We promise more donors, and we deliver more donors. Tabitha, Jenny, Mark, Ruben, Larissa, Jerry Andrew, Kendall, Vincent, Daniel, Jorge, Stephen, Jonathan, Linnea, Jeremy, Graham, Eden, Joaco Records, and things. Thank you, Jerry and Andrew. He said that in a weird way. Well, you didn't put commas in. I read what's okay, given to me. You're being difficult today. I'm being difficult. I'm having fun. <laughs> he said that like a drunk person. Being difficult, I'm having fun. <laughs> and you don't like it. <laughs> All right, we got two more packages. I kind of would like that big one. That's your birthday. Oh, it's fragile. It says it's got glass in it. This is from Inwood, New York. All right, this is from Alfred, Kelly, and Wilson, formerly of the Bronx. They'd have, they've had to move out of the Bronx due to COVID concerns. Oh, that sucks. They've had us to thank for lots of hours of entertainment, classical film, film critiquing for these 11 years, and your wonderful influence on me. Most recently, you've inspired me to put my own film critiques out in the world with a friend. It's a form of our own nerdy podcast. It's called Nerd Pod Generations. And they want us to watch The Wizard of Speed and Time on the show, a masterwork of indie cinema. I think Alfred and Kelly might have sent us that. They got a bunch of Cena suggestions on the back of the thing here. Thank you for your letter. And now let's find out what the goodies are. These are some goodies right there. Mm -hmm. Thank you. This looks like some old postcards from Porto Rosso. Red port? Seems to have some sort of movie tie-in. Yeah, these are based off of Luca, which I have not seen, but my son has. These are little postcards that have what look like New Yorker cartoons, but they're, I think, New Yorker-style cartoons. I wish I had a salary that disgusted people. That's funny. Oh, this is a Gorillaz album. Song Machine. The Gorillaz. I like them. Yeah. I haven't heard this. Every few years, they reemerge from the ocean. Oh, and we've got some DVDs here. Oh, look at this. Blu-ray, The World According to Garp. Oh, I love that movie when I was a kid. I saw it like saw it so often when I was a kid. So often. There's a lot that See, we shouldn't know about that happens in this movie. Did not understand so much of it. The movie's to a certain extent ahead of its time, but other people would say it's behind the times, too. And we've got Across the Universe there. Oh, this Heard is the second that time we've re received that one. It, it has, and I think it's the se second time we received this one. Troy. Troy. This is sent to Krat Slonson hmm. from cs at orangeconnects.com. Seems to be a wig. Hmm. I hope. Yeah, that's that's a wig. Why did they send us a wig? <laughs> it's a wig. <laughs> Why? How um, did they do it? Okay, here we go. Sideshow Bob. There we go. I'm not sure you have it quite on straight. Tona, might I have some assistance here? Why were we sent this? Right. Why were we I sent think this wig? I think it's perfect. Yeah. They sent us a wig. <laughs> A wig. I want to wear the wig. All right. Sorry, I trust your, I trust your head. Health. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> we've probably given each other COVID like four times over in the course of the last couple of years, <laughs> yeah. so you may as well get my lice too. I feel glamorous. They sent us a wig. I don't know who they are. Sing uh I'm simply red. That's all I have to say. That's all I have to say. <laughs> wait, wait, or, or I do this. Mmm. You look like an Emma Stone character if she was trying to play ugly and they put her in a funny wig. Yeah, thank you. I'm not saying you're ugly. I'm saying oh, the hair's okay. ugly. All right. I'm saying you look like Emma Stone. She's gorgeous. Thanks. Thank you. She's as attractive as a woman can be. All right, folks. They sent us a wig, and I'm wearing it. And we had a fun time opening our packages and looking at our mail and doing all the things that we do here on the Unboxing Show. We want to thank you for joining us. They sent us a wig. They sent us a wig.